This is a quick video on how to use Pry inside of a Ruby on Rails project. So after you've installed Pry into the gem file, go ahead and get the console up and running. Then from there, type Pry to use Pry. Uh, now we're running Pry, so we can do cool things uh, like move into a class. So right now I'm inside the user class right here. And then from here we can do, we can call any class method we like. So I can call first and that will give me the first user that I have here in my project. And then from here, you know, I can CD into first if I like. So now I'm inside the first user in my project and I can do cool things like see their email here. Uh, and then if I wanted to do something also cool, I could upcase it just like that. I can type nesting to see where I've gone. I can type ls to see a list of variables and methods. And I'm just typing enter to scroll through these here. And type q to quit. Uh, if I wanted to go back to the previous object I've been, I could type exit. That'll bring me up there. Exit again. And there's my uh, user that I had uh, previously been looking at. And then I can also type help, get a list of commands. And again, I'm just typing enter here. And just scrolling through them and typing Q to quit. So Pry is super cool. There's a lot of documentation on it out there. And to show you what else you can do with Pry, uh, you can also use binding.pry anywhere you like inside of your project. So here, uh, I've purposely commented out this at stock instance variable and binding.pry uh, is just above it here. So I've got my project up and running here. And if I type Google, what's supposed to happen here is this symbol should come up. And you see down here, it's bringing me through my code in my terminal. So pretty cool. And inside of here, I can actually see what that is. And it'll tell me right there uh, that my call actually is working. I actually am getting data returned to me. Pretty neat stuff. Give it a try. Play around with it.